today I'm just going to uh, go very briefly through um, a series of works that I began in 2004 and 2003. Um, I think uh, this, this body of work called The Hybrid, um, in retrospect, has probably been one of the most important series of work that I've made um, as an artist maybe in the past 10 years. And I think it was because what happened is that it, it started my own practice on this journey. Um, I started to look, after I had my own children, I started to look at the body as a site of, uh, as a site of contradiction and as a site. So this, this in series is called uh, the hybrid series. It's kind of very loosely based. The first one is called Angel. Um, the small baby in there is my daughter Lola. And what I was sort of looking at was this idea of hybridity, the idea of the female figure, uh, mythologies. Um, and I was looking at perhaps a way of making what I would call my urban goddesses. And I think this is something that I've been doing for, for a very long time. And over the years, I've been making probably one or two uh, figures. A lot of them have started from the premise of these five photographs, um, which were made, um, yeah, like I said, 2003 and 2004. Uh, I was, basically what I was looking at was the, the reason why there's, there's kind of a blank space um, I was trying to place these women in a kind of very indoor setting, so it's very clear that they're not outside, they're not within the larger context of the world. Uh, you're also not, from perhaps the images, you're not able to really understand who they are, where they're from. There's not really a specific context, except that they are in a domestic space. Um, yeah, as I said, this is Angel, and you will see the reference, obviously, to the blue baby and Krishna, that she's a girl. Uh, this one was called Chocolate Muffin. I made um, subsequently a, a sculpture, so these really were for me like drawings. Um, at the time, I didn't really know why I was making or what I was making. They were, for sure, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a definite sense of aggression, uh, macabre in the work, also power. There's a lot of strength in, in the figures, in the way that they stand, in their posturing. Um, I was trying to look at this idea that the animal and the self, animals are, are metaphors that I've used in my work for many years. Um, there, where is the line between the fact that she is woman or is she animal? Is she an animal turning into a woman? Is she a woman turning into an animal? Um, when I showed these works, it was quite uh, difficult because maybe in a way there was I was asked actually a lot of questions about these works, so it actually took me about three years to actually understand them myself. I think in retrospect, um, I, I am influenced by mythology. My work is really based around stories. I make images, and um, that's what I think about. When I make work, my plan is, and what's happening in my mind is I'm capturing an absolute moment and freezing it in time. And that is the image that I want you to then see. So these, these women are, are based on um, the grand narratives of, of Hinduism, of, 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 of Greek and um, a, a Greek mythologies and stories that you hear, oral traditions. So, yeah. So this one was chocolate muffin, a uh, family portrait. Um, the, when I started to look at how I could then turn and, and actually go back and relate uh, uh, this space, this very white, blank, kind of neutral space. So I had, to, I thought, how I can bring objects in, and then obviously make transformations with the objects that are quite defunct in a way. So there is a sense of, um, of not really, of, of perhaps even the objects that I started to produce after that, of them being in a sense functionless. Uh, feather duster. All of the portraits of um, all of the women, uh, there's various people that I know, but I always put my own eyes into the picture. So that in a way what happens is that I, I feel that it's not then an intrusion into somebody else's uh, privacy. If I put my own eyes into the work, that then becomes my, the way that I then look at the work, or you're able to then look at me. Um, the Hunter and the Prophet. Uh, this work, uh, if you see the bottom, uh, the leg of the dead <coughs> lamb, mutton, um, it's actually covered like a hyena's leg. 
And you see, I, I know, I like story, I like animals. I, I, I spend all my time watching things, reading stuff about animals and the mythologies that happen. There's a Greek myth that uh, in, in, well, at the time, the, the hyena had the gift of prophecy. And so if you were to take the eye of a hyena and put it under your tongue, I mean, I, I don't really know why this story comes, you would then, uh, you would then be able to have the gift of prophecy. And I've made subsequent works after that. I mean, I've made work like the Solarum series, which are the trees, which are the trees of life. So I, I'm interested in, these, on, on, in the idea of people that, or objects that they can tell you things, that they reveal themselves in a way um, just through the, the act of making the work and placing it, that there is this idea that the object or the image then can talk to you about something greater than perhaps what it is itself. So 2004, the first sculpture started. This was Arione. Um, Arione had the gift of great speed. Uh, she, he, Arion, obviously was was um, the horse of Hercules and had a, a leg. Actually, I swapped the legs around, but he's supposed to have um, the right leg, uh, the, the leg of a horse, um, to give him great speed and, and wisdom. I've made her Arione. She's like a huntress. Um, and, uh, it's this, uh, she's, in the, she's in the domestic space, and in my own mind, I, I create these things. She's, she's at the door, and she's welcoming you in with two cakes. And um, obviously, she, she's, quite, uh, she's quite the Amazon. And, you know, when I, when I was making these works, it was, I was very clearly thinking that you're not supposed to know who she is, you're not supposed to know where she's from, she's not from India, she's not from Asia, she's not from Africa, she's not from England. You don't know what time she's come, you don't know what century she's from. And so there's this very kind of timeless... Um, <coughs> there's, so there was, there's always contradiction in the way that you read the image. The face starts to look like a monkey, the hair starts to do something else. She's carrying a gun, she's domestic, she's not. She's violent, she's, she's, there's submission. There's all these things happening. And so in a way, the, 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 the series of women sculptures that I started to make over the years, there all somehow, I kind of feel related to each other in one way, but at the same time, they all contradict each other. So whenever you try and sort of hold something down, that something flies out of your hand again. 